Today, I will discuss uh, beam on elastic foundation in ES533 reinforced concrete design. Uh, introduction, when a beam lies on elastic foundation under the action of externally applied load, the reaction forces of the foundation are proportional at every point to the deflection of the beam. Um, this assumption was introduced first by Winkler in 1867. There are many geotechnical engineering problems that can be idealized as beams on elastic foundation. Uh, most common theory is the Winkler approach. Sino ba si Emil Winkler? Uh, he was born in Berlin, Germany. He was a German civil engineer, professor with broad academic interest including engineering mechanics, railway, engine, railway engineering, and bridge engineering. He was first to formulate and solve a problem of elastic beam on deformable foundation. And the model of a beam on elastic foundation, which, as, which assumes linear force deflection relationship, is known as Winkler Foundation. Now, as we can see, the uh, model ni Winkler, Winkler sa beam on elastic foundation. So, paano yung concept niya? Winkler's idealization represents the soil medium as a system of identical but mutually independent, closely spaced, discrete, linearly elastic springs. According to this idealization, the formation of foundation, foundation due to applied load is confined to loaded regions only. Uh, Winkler foundation model limitation. Uh, no interaction between springs is considered. The spring constant may depend on a number of parameters such as stiffness of beam, geometry of beam, soil profile, and behavior. And beams. And beams are most common type of structural component, particularly in civil engineering. Its length is comparatively more than its cross-sectional area. A bar-like structural member whose primary function is to support transverse loading and carry it to the supports. A beam resists transverse loads mainly through bending action. Bending produces compressive longitudinal stresses in one side of the beam and tensile stresses in the other. And the elasticity, it is the property of the material to regain its original shape after the removal or external force. As per the Hooke's law, stress is directly proportional to the strain. And the application of beams, they are used as structural members in a structure. They transfer load from the superstructure to the columns and to the subsoil foundation. And they are used in bridges for the transportation of light as well as heavy vehicles. They are also as a strap beam in strap footing in foundations to connect and transfer loads from the columns. And nakita natin kung paano nag act yung beam sa elastic foundation dito sa picture na to. Uh, building foundations, floating structures, beam that rest on a grid of perpendicular beams and other constructions use beams on elastic foundations like the one shown in figure. Ito pinakita natin kanina. And the governing differential equation also appears to be comparable to that of cylindrical shells and tapered beams with curved webs. As a result, this material has a broad range of application. When applying this theory to issues where the foundation does not react linearly, such as soils that respond non-linearly to pressures or ships whose water line area varies with sinkage care is advised. Uh, the foundation stiffness, uh, conceptually the foundation stiffness KS shown in figure is easy. The foundation provides an upwards force as the beam moves downwards. As seen by the springs in figure, the units of force per unit length along the beam are denoted by Ks. Uh, another stiffness indicated is the letter Kf is present and is related to the rotation f of the beam cross section around the longitudinal axis. To put it another way, Kf protects the beam against torsion. In the next subsections, techniques for determining 
for determining the KS and KF for various scenarios are presented. The stiffness from buoyancy. Uh, an important application of this theory is floating structures. Uh, to determine for a beam that flows in water, suppose the beam cross section has width equal to the location where the cross section penetrates the water surface. Furthermore, let the mass density of the water be denoted, which typically equals for sea water, and let denoted the acceleration of gravity. And the stiffness from soil. Suppose the stiffness is determined from the soil testing. In particular, suppose a vertical load is placed on an area with dimensions of x and y, and that the vertical displacement is measured. A stiffness from girder grid. Another situation appears when the beam is resting on a grid of closely spaced perpendicular beam. Examples uh, joists. Suppose the joists are spaced at x on center and that their stiffness against vertical deflections at the point of intersection with the beam. Euler Bernoulli beam theory. Also known as engineer's beam theory or classical beam theory is a simple method to calculate bending of beams when a load is applied. This applies to small deflection how far something moves of a beam without considering effects of shear deformation. Now bending and differential equation uh, compared with the basic Euler-Bernoulli beam theory, it is sufficient to modify the equation for vertical equilibrium to obtain the differential equation for a beam on elastic foundation. As a result, uh, the following conventions from basic beam bending hold valid. Uh, number one, clockwise shear force is positive. Number two, bending moment with tensions at the bottom is positive. Number three, uh, tension stress is positive. Number four, the C axis points upwards so that upward displacement is positive. Number five, the distributed the, the distributed load is positive upwards. Uh, shows the forces acting on an on an infinitesimal beam element. The spring that illustrates the elastic foundation exert a downward force when the beam is subjected to an upward displacement. And the soil structure interaction. And the soil is a very complex material for the modeling. It is very difficult to model the so it is very difficult to model the soil structure interaction problem in reinforced concrete uh, building building slab concrete is a very common construction system. And the plate foundation system is idealized is idealized as a as a thin elastic plate resting on a linearly elastic foundation.